Welcome back to the channel where I go ahead and actually give you my reviews up front and then help you stick around to go ahead and actually deep dive on why I gave it those reviews. Today I'm going to go ahead and actually review the corporate drama series The Board on Prime Video. Now if you are a main target audience member, a person that likes corporate dramas or you like uh, business dramas, things in the corporate world or business setting, I'm going to recommend that you go and actually watch one episode. Now, for casual viewers, people that aren't really into corporate dramas or uh, business type studies or anything like that, I'm also going to go ahead and actually give you a suggestion of watching one episode. Now, stay tuned so I can go and actually deep dive on why I'm giving you those recommendations. <laughs> The Board is a drama series that premiered on Prime Video in August of 2023. The first season consists of 10 episodes that are roughly about 55 minutes each. It's filmed in the UAE and it is actually filmed in the Arabic language, although it does have English subtitles. It stars Diamond Abu Aboud, uh, Basim Akur, and Nadine Tassin Beck. You know me, I apologize, probably pronounced all three of those wrong, but those are the three main stars in this particular series. IMDB has a synopsis in this way. The board is not merely limited to companies and business world. It exists everywhere, encompassing everything from the smallest organization to the largest, including families. The image may vary from one board to another, but they all converge on one idea, a minority group managing the affairs of the majority, whether willingly or unwillingly. The things we are unaware of are often the ones that shape our destiny. This is what the board is all about. So it's a really interesting synopsis. It actually appears that we're identifying this as a uh, all-encompassing type of idea within this culture. Um, and so it's actually going to be interesting to see how that goes and actually translates in a series. Now for me, business dramas, corporate dramas, um, stuff about like corporate greed, ruthless aspects as it relates to like industry and things like that, those can become very popular. The shows in North America like Billions or Ballers or Succession are major hits within uh, mainstream culture. Now, some people watch these shows for inspiration and they like the stories that are being told. But I'm also, honestly, I feel most people go and actually watch these as contrarians. They hate big, wealthy companies and businesses, and these shows mostly portray the big businesses as almost kind of being the antagonists or the enemies or so. Um, and so from the common person, they go ahead and actually kind of just look at it as like, oh, they're evil entities, and it kind of, it's almost like hate watching. So whether you're wanting to get inspiration and, and you're really into that business drama, or if you hate it because you just don't have business, those types of shows are really big in the industry right now. Now, for me, while I like drama, you know, and drama has, it can go all kinds of different ways, things that are surrounding like businesses and money aren't necessarily for me. It's not really my thing. So I'm going to really go and actually categorize myself as a casual viewer. I am not the main target audience member. I go ahead and actually let you know this because you should always know where your reviewer is coming from, right? Because you got to know what they're doing. And I go ahead and actually watch the first two episodes of brand new content just to go ahead and actually see if you like it. And this, because it premiered back in August of 2023, I've heard nothing about it. I'm going to go and actually put this safely into my Varnell Hill series. That's right, Varnell Hill, you know, the man that goes and actually always asks. Damn, did you miss me? That's right, did you miss him? Did you miss this show? Did you even hear about it? I'm given an opportunity to go ahead and actually see what this show is about. If you like how that sounds, do me a favor, click like, share, subscribe. And now, let's get into it. Now, after going ahead and actually watching the first couple episodes, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't have a whole lot of personal insight into what this content is similar to. Based off of things that I've watched or things that I've, uh, you know, kind of heard about, things that I've watched, I would go ahead and actually closely relate it to, like, uh, Wall Street or even the uh, series Dallas, okay? But for even for those that are a little bit more current and things like that, I think this is pretty close to being a representation of, like, billions or ballers, something of that nature. Um, and so I've never watched those shows, so I can't go ahead and actually say definitely that's what they're about. But that's where I kind of go ahead and actually get the inspiration for these. So let me break down these episodes. So in episode one, uh, the first scene was very much jarring, um, but it's kind of like a flash forward event of what's going to happen later on in this episode. So we get context for it. But in the very beginning, that is, it's a very like, ah, kind of scene. Um, now, one of the earliest scenes in uh, the episode was in a cafe and it was really a good like lesson type of thing. I really liked the scene, the setup, uh, the message there and things like that. It was a really interesting scene. 
Um, the, now it's really another thing that I kind of noticed within uh, you know the first 15 minutes or so is that uh, listening to the Arabic language and that there's I had no idea that there's really kind of like a mix of English and Arabic in there like I could go ahead and actually understand if it was like proper nouns or anything like that that makes sense to be in English language but there's actually uh, common phrases and words or whatever that are actually spoken in English and the Arabic language so I thought that was kind of intriguing on there just from my mindset of being a North American that has watched very very few uh, Arabic based episodes of anything um, now further in this episode I could go ahead and actually say they do go ahead and actually kind of introduce you to the board of the people that are the main players in here and that there's going to be an attempted coup on this board so you kind of get that in the first episode and then it's it's a very self-contained episode honestly showing how everyone um, kind of involved kind of really goes ahead and actually tries to maintain their spot and move up um, and kind of like the price to pay if they're gonna go ahead and actually try and move up or what have you so it's a very I, I think I like the aspect that it's a very contained type of thing where you don't actually have to watch the next episode you probably could get some value just out of a single episode now in episode two I go ahead the first thing that you notice is the same thing that happened with episode one there's a flash forward in the very beginning so uh, there's one of those types of things where they're showing you what's gonna happen later on and that can also be that could be good or it could be bad in this situation for episode two it was actually they probably showed like some of the most boring dialogue in the very beginning so it wasn't very enticing to kind of pull you in but you know just kind of give you my thoughts on that flash forward that episode was more dramatic in regards to like who's going to go ahead and actually succeed the ceo's position and it really put an emphasis on that so the drama definitely kicks in in the second episode uh, the intertwining of women's politics and uh harassment is a bit different in this show versus i think in north american politics uh but it, the main core things are there but the way that things kind of go about is a little bit different it's a little bit nuanced within that culture versus what we kind of do in the states um and i think even like in canada and places like that i think the show is really really kind of emphasizes making money over any other things whether they're talking about family whether they're talking about gender they talk about you know places or anything like that it's really about can you make me money if you can make me money then that's first and foremost that's how this show comes off and it's intriguing but it can be off putting for people that are just not into that type of stuff the end of the second episode is satisfying in the fact of it's probably going where you think it's going to go but again what i do like about the series is that the second episode you could go and actually end it right there and it could be self-contained and you would be satisfied enough as a viewer to like i've got kind of like the full story what have you you don't have to watch the next one but the con to that is you don't have to watch the next one you don't feel compelled to and thus you know why watch the rest of the season or what have you so those are some of my thoughts of watching those first two episodes now let me just kind of grade it out break it down a little bit more for you so you can really understand why i gave it the uh one episode watch for both target and casual viewers now in regards to storytelling storytelling i'm going to go and actually give it as a c um, it's basically average. The series is very much heavy on looking at the business ins and outs within a company. Uh, the series about ousting the oldest member of the board and who are the players that are for him and with him or those that are against him. And then how does this affect individual statuses as well as the company overall? There's a lot of different moving parts on here on who's going to uh, step into that role, what, how is he stepping down, who's going to come and play afterwards, all that kind of stuff. Uh, one of the things that makes this series interesting again is how profit and societal status is important to the character. Characters. It's not necessarily being rich, but how high up you can get and uh, how you can get into how what's the status that you can attain in the company or what have you. It's really about just making a profit. And I guess it's fresh from the aspect of like there's no mystery to it. They don't kind of uh, sugarcoat anything like that. Uh, this isn't about loyalty. It's about going actually making money or whatever. So there's that aspect of it too to the storytelling. However, um, while that's interesting to go and actually observe, the downside is that it's too heavy in the stories and it kind of drags out a lot of the scenes within the storytelling. There's a lot of just dry dialogue or dry engagement to go and actually get you to understand the impact of profit over uh, personal thoughts and opinions and things like that. And it's just, it, it can come across as very boring. Um, it kind of feels like we're getting a facade of the characters instead of who they're really supposed to be. Like they're putting on this front of like, hey, I've got to be tough all the time. And that can kind of get, um, it's not very engaging as far as storytelling or what have you. It's almost too stiff. I do like the way that each episode, again, is kind of self-contained and they can be watched on their own. And it's a departure from the cliffhanger things that we're used to in the streaming content world. So overall, the way the thing is paced out and what story that is telling and all that kind of good stuff, I'm going to go and actually say storytelling is a C. 
For acting, acting, I'm gonna go ahead and actually go a notch above there and say it's about a C plus. Uh, the same Yakaro, Yakur, as Rabi is easily the best character in the series. Um, he's positioned as the antagonist of the show. He's smart, charming, powerful, and most importantly, he's manipulative. Uh, he has some great scenes, especially with the barista that he goes to daily in this uh, cafe. And as I already mentioned earlier, it's a really interesting dynamic that he has with that barista. Um, everyone else is kind of up and down within the series, some good, some bad, or what have you. Um, it's really giving off a kind of soap, soap opera style type of acting which is kind of like it's over demonstrative you know if you go and actually think about soap operas here in north america or like a telenovela within uh hispanic culture what have you there's over emphasis on the acting and i think that's a little bit present here and i'm not really a fan of that type of acting because it seems like you're trying too hard and so that aspect of it kind of you know downplays a little bit now i do acknowledge that some of the dialogue that kind of feels a little stilted to me is probably because of things being lost in translation you know a lot of times when you go ahead and actually are, are looking at subtitles and then not really understanding the context of the emphasis within the uh, spoken language or what have you you kind of lose a little bit of the emphasis and maybe even the words that they're that they're putting in the subtitles aren't as impactful or meaningful as the true intent that's being spoken so i do go and actually forgive some of the acting for not having some of the dialogue being delivered in a way that could be convincing however i i do go and actually feel overall that is some scenes like facial reactions and timing just isn't great to whatever is being conveyed so that's a little bit off it's not horrible but the acting isn't the most engaging aspect of, the, of this thing on here so uh i'm gonna go and actually say the reason why it's getting a plus is because of for me basim akur is is actually he's bringing it he's bringing it up a notch or whatever but c plus is for the acting uh, so some last things to go ahead and actually kind of go over as far as this series um, the music is kind of really overdone in this series whether it's kind of cutaways or establishing shots or scene enhancers the music is distracting it just doesn't quite line up or it's a little bit too loud or whatever just I don't know how they're scoring this but it just the music is noticeable and that's a lot coming from me because I don't usually typically notice music in that kind of way or whatever it doesn't really bother me but it did here um, there's entirely too many lingering shots which are annoying meaning that within a shot where we could actually cut away we could transition to something else but they stay on a scene or stay on a character or whatever and it was just it, it got a little annoying for me uh really observing the culture within the uae was very much intriguing um, i feel like there's a lot of value in seeing how uh, some corporate entities are portrayed from that vantage point in that culture i think there's a lot to be said for that um, a lot of north american audiences don't get exposed to that type of thing and so that um I think that that really has some value to it and it intrigued me a lot so again for my main target audience members watch one episode because i'm just gonna say fans of business dramas corporate uh dramas things like that they should give it a shot um you're gonna definitely observe wealth and how you know what is projected to in that particular culture you'll see some good setups on different personality types in the corporate world and i think there's a story here that some people could really vibe with especially in regards to gender and how it plays a role and how it can be manipulated within uh the corporate world now for casual viewers the reason why i think you should go and actually give it a one episode watch is go ahead and actually get an exposure to a culture that a lot of us we don't travel to we don't know anything about we only hear about things on the news or youtube or whatever the case may be this is a good opportunity to go and actually observe from a lens of a creative person putting something together and putting it towards you of this is how we project business and things like that even if it's it's made up and it's fiction it's still a a shot into that world or what have you um and so you're not getting a colored by media but from a creative within that culture um going ahead and actually thinking about you know tearing down some tropes and some personality types that i think that uh, a lot of people outside of those areas kind of go and actually have it saying like hey there's some different personality types so i think it's fascinating to watch and again the acting in the story is not bad and within that first episode you have a self-contained story and as a casual viewer you might go ahead and actually pick up a diamond in a rough and just be a treat by it overall so that's what i have for the board on prime video check it out في أقلية بتأخذ قرارات بتغير حياتنا إن كان برغبة منا أو لا هذا هو البول. You stay for the entire episode. I appreciate you. I really do. Do me a favor. Click like, share, subscribe. If any of this really kind of spoke to you, um, if you have any crit critiques, or if you really want to submit a shout out, go ahead and actually comment below. And you can watch one of these other videos that the algorithm seems to think that you might like of my videos. But until the next time, I'll holler at you. Take care of yourself.